Hey, Shaman Garf here. Happy Tuesday. I was listening to Joe Pags, and he's one of my triggers. If you go back, I know all about my triggers and all that. It's a lot of psychology, and I'm not going to get into it. I've listened to a whole bunch of it. It is what it is. Anyway, I believe I talk to God. He talks to me. We have conversations. It's a whole different relationship than you and him. He doesn't give me anything. He doesn't. I don't know. There's energy. There's all kinds of things. I feel like a goddamn potty joke. Excuse me. That's how we joke. Anyway, he swears up a storm. That's my subconscious. That's what you can call it, my subconscious. I believe it's God. And it, we discuss things. And one thing I was listening to Joe Pags, and he has this guy that comes on, AJ. AJ's hilarious. He's this old black dude. He's from down south. People call him, well, you're this, you're that, you're a sellout. And he just laughs it off. He's like, no, I'm a conservative. And I'm like, yeah, I love AJ. Anyway... I listened to a whole bunch of conservatives all day today and uh, even some of the liberal news stations and they were talking about boycotting China, boycotting China, should we boycott China? And AJ brought up a good point. Instead of boycotting, hey, well, Joe Pags brought it up also. I forget which one actually brought it up. But they said what we should do is send a huge delegation of people over there as a representation and to tell them we're not happy with what's going on between China and Taiwan and also to give them a big F you but we need athletes who are going to represent the United States and not bail out who are going to be proud of the country and if you don't want to be there if you don't want to say I represent the greatest country on the face of this earth get the hell out of the games you don't belong there you're disgusting if you took all that money and all that training and all that you're you want to talk about goddamn privilege. You were given a gift of God. That's from God. And you took it and then you you bailed. Come on. All right? And I'm not talking about that little gymnast. I understand she had the twisties or whatever it's called. I looked into it and I said, yeah, that's a real thing. I, and I talked to some gymnasts. I stopped at a couple of places. And they said, yeah, they understand that one girl. She actually was a junior Olympian. And she says, yeah, it happens. And eh, whatever. It's a long story. I talk to everybody. Anyway, I like to hear it from the horse's mouth. Anyway, that being said, if you don't, if you can't represent America, screw. That's it, screw. That little soccer player with the purple hair that looks like a little boy, or actually looks like uh, Superman's boyfriend or whatever the hell it is in the new comics. Why do you make Superman? Everything got to be gay. Santa's gay. You know, Santa's based on a real saint. Saint Nicholas or whatever the hell it is. I just missing a whole video about it. I mean, we're a white dude. I don't care if you got a black Santa or an Asian Santa. Make it whatever you want because according to a lot of people, Santa Claus himself is just a pagan. But when you're talking Saint Nick, he's a white dude. That's the way it is. That's not appropriation or anything. That's history, goddammit. But if you want to talk Santa Claus, make Santa any color you want. I personally don't give a shit what you do. As long as you decorate, put up some good lights. I like the old ones, the big ones. My wife hates them. She hates everything Anyway, it's a long story. I'm still in the house, so that's a good thing. Anyway, where was I going with this? Help me out, God, will you please? That's how I get it. I, he straightens me out. Go back and watch. I feel right now, but it's like I don't even have 10 minutes. I got to make this even shorter because I got to get to work. I'm going to have to jog. It's raining a little. I got to ask him to start. He did make it stop raining yesterday. That was hilarious. Potty tricks. Anyway, where the hell was I going with this? Oh, yeah, AJ. They were talking about one of the greatest Olympic things ever. And I thought of my uncle because of it, because he had actually met him when he came to Boston. At least that's what he told him. My uncle worked for Boston Parks and Rec years ago. And uh, Jesse Owens. And we didn't boycott Hitler. And we knew what he was all about. We didn't boycott him. And Jesse Owens went over there. And he, not only just because he represented America, but because he represented a even more, he was a black American, and that pissed Hitler off even more. And you don't know how happy that makes me. Oh, I, it's always made me. And I, get, I still got the pictures of Jesse Owens, my uncle. Did. Him and Marvin Hagler. I don't see Marvin Hagler's autograph. Oh, that poor Marvin. Can you talk? I'm, Tommy Hearns talked about what happened to Marvin Hagler. And everybody went off, and then I don't know if he apologized or deleted it or what, but he said he got the double whammy. Whatever we're calling it these days, and next thing you know, he was gone. I said, you say, saw speaking of Tommy Hearns, I saw him on that show, Parking Wars. He got a ticket. Oh, I can't believe the lady gave him a ticket. And she ticketed Tommy Hearns, and then she was like, sorry, Tommy. Bye. Anyway, that was hilarious. 
Who's that going with this? Where you live? If you can't represent America, don't go. Don't go to the games. Stay home. If you're not proud of this country, if you think everything's racist, if you think this country's evil and not all this, go find Thomas Sowell, please. Before you go to those Olympic Games, go follow Thomas Sowell from up and down. Follow real American history. Go to Glenn Beck. He has all that history crap. He has a whole, oh, excuse me. There's a lot of swearing going on. It's hard for me to keep this under control right now because I just want to go on a roll, but I don't have the time either. He's yelling at me at the same time he's telling me things. Isn't that hilarious? That's how we get along. Anyway, it's a long story. Yeah, I'm crazy. I ain't got to die. I've been locked up. It's a long story, too. I have so many jokes. I don't have time. Anyway, that being said, I don't know if I'll post this. I got to listen to it, see if it's any good, see if it's funny, see if I make you laugh anywhere in there. Make myself laugh. If I get a chuckle, then I share them. I entertain myself, and there's a few people. I got some new subscribers. I haven't checked how many more. But we'll see. But anyway, I talk about God. I talk about Thomas Sowell because that's my second goal in life. I want him on everybody. Put him in our schools, man. Go down in the history. Go common sense. It's down the middle. It's not. It, it, it means right. I'll give you that. Nowadays, it's probably called far right according to lunatics. But really, it's down the middle. He makes fun of the Republicans when they do stupid things. He makes fun of the Democrats when they do stupid things. He'll tell you what he didn't like. He'll tell you what... But he's go look at what he said was going to happen and then what happened. And then go compare that to what the other guy said was going to happen. <laughs> Hands down. I'm just saying, go back and follow the books. Read... If you did this, this wouldn't happen. If you did that, that wouldn't happen. And then read these other morons. Let's open all the jails and what could go wrong? Hey, I don't think that's a good plan. What the hell just happened in New York? The guy went around with Joe Stabby. And then they found out he was Joe Stabby on a different train. And you let him go. No bail. The hell's going on? The cops can't do the. We used to joke about that back in the 80s. The cops can't finish the paperwork. The guy's out on the street. Is the guy still filling out the paperwork? What the hell's going on here? Cocksuckers. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everyone talks about they never get arrested. I had them put me in cuffs because I had a broken, stupid light for you. Your tag. I remember MDC. Oh, and I didn't. I knew the guy. Oh, he was a jerk. Anyway, that being said, that's a long story. Cops have always been pricks, but we need them. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gotta run. Literally, I gotta run. That's why he's interactive. I just gotta lose weight. <laughs> I think that's a funny joke. He thinks it's funny, too, Mother Ella. Anyway, God bless, God love you. Hope I gave you a chuckle. It's my job, I'm a goddamn angel. <laughs> I know that's crazy, my wife.